Um, <laughs> oh my God, are we bad at doing this? Welcome. <laughs> okay. Guys, this is our first crack at YouTube. So do not make fun of us. We are trying, we're learning. It's all an experience and we're here for you guys. We want to create the best content for you guys and we're so excited and we're gonna have some fun while we're doing it now. Huh? Yes, Absolutely. we are. Any questions you guys have, you can reach out to us. I can't do this. Come on, you have to. Okay, I, I'm blocking out slowly. So hold <laughs> on, let me just. Hello, Janin. <laughs> what up, my beautiful people? The moment you have been waiting for, Janin YouTube. We are here, we are ready, we are excited to give you guys all the content that you want. This is exclusive content that you cannot find anywhere on my Instagram, on Shannon's Instagram, nowhere. This is pure heart gold content right here. Here on this YouTube channel, you'll be able to follow along our journey outside of the villa, get all the behind the scenes, everything that you won't be able to find anywhere else, you will be able to find right here on Janin's YouTube channel. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications for our new videos. You guys have had so many great ideas for our channel. We're so excited to share them with you. We wanna give you guys the best content ever. We want you guys to really get a sense of how Josh and I are outside of the villa. We're gonna give you pranks. We're gonna give you daily routines. We're gonna give you vlogs. We're gonna give you anything that you guys wanna see. And it's gonna be fun. We're gonna have fun with it. We're gonna be ourselves. We're gonna get a little weird. Hey. Hey, we're gonna get a lot of weird. A lot of weird, yeah, you're right, you're right. We already started editing and uploading Josh's Beach House Week and we celebrated his sister, Lindsay. It was a celebration of life. Every year we have that Beach House, the same exact week. It's always my sister's birthday. So we thought, you know, how fitting it would be just to go anyways and just celebrate her life because she was an amazing person and we wanted to keep the tradition going. And she was there in spirit. We felt her and it was just amazing. And we had so many fun things to do while we were there on vacation and we put it all in a vlog. We're still working on it. So stay tuned for that whenever it drops, but. We wanna know what you guys wanna see from us. We love all of you, obsessed. We love our Jan and crew. Seriously, you guys are unbelievable. Yes. We love you all. And we want you guys to know that and we wanna give back and we wanna give you guys what you wanna see. I think I might forget some other things. What's my favorite color? No, I'm nervous. No, 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 I'm nervous. Don't put me on the spot. Ah! Uh, what is my favorite color? Yellow. Try Didn't again. you say yellow? No, try again. It's not yellow? No. Um, it's just because I'm wearing yellow. Guys, I swear I know this. Wait. Strawberry red. It's right on Strawberry my nail. Red. Strawberry red is my favorite I, color. I knew that. You knew it in the villa. I How do you it. forget stuff? I, I even just, had it right here. Guys, I knew it the whole time. I just need a little inspo. Okay, so it's not yellow, because that's the not, color at the top. Not you flexing wearing. your nails. Just got them done. They're on fleek. <laughs> they look good. Shout out your mom for taking us. Oh my god. <laughs> guys, Josh got a pedicure yesterday. <laughs> That's and crazy. I tried to record some of it, but I was in the massage chair, so it was kind of like, uh, <laughs> like as I was recording it, but Josh yeah, getting- <laughs> Plenty of videos of me. It like, I don't even know really how to describe it. It like hurts, but it doesn't at the same time. And it tickles and it's weird because people are touching your feet and I don't really like that, but- They had to whip out like a huge cheese grater for, <laughs> um, <laughs> to get the skin <clears throat> off no. of those toes. Do you want to ask me a question? Okay. My first question for you is. I was. I thought you wanted me to ask you a question. Okay, go ahead. wait. Start over. <laughs> okay. My first question for you is: What color bathing suit was I wearing the first day in the villa? Right when I stepped down those steps. Dark purple. Dark purple. I thought I had you. What bathing suit was I wearing when I was? Easy, first... it was like an orange nope. cheetah print. It was an orange. Black. Yes, it was. N it wasn't. It was red. Why do you think every color is orange? It's like a dark orange. He thought this top, okay. This top is like it's a, a must. Orange. It's a mustard yellow. He thought this top was orange. I must take a turn. Guys, help me out. It's a dark orange cheetah print. 
it's with like with literally like the black... more red than these nails. No, it was, yes, it was. No. It was ruby red. Like I just maybe am a little colorblind, but you must be. I got. We'll the figure red. that out together. I got the red. Yeah, we'll get you tested. At least I didn't say like purple. Yeah, then that would be very concerning. What was the name of our first pet in Toby. the villa? Toby. Toby, you course. remember? <laughs> Toby. I thought you liked Toby a little more than you liked me at the beginning, so. Toby was so cute. He was like this big, little teeny tiny baby. The little. And we rescued him. The gecko? Mm hmm. The gecko. Little Hawaiian little baby lizard. Shout out, Toby. I'll never forget you, baby. Mm, I have a good question for you. I think the people might want to know. How did you end up on Love Island? Were you scouted? Did you apply? Oh, that's did a good you... one. I was scouted by Ian. He reached out to me on Instagram. He DM'd me and said, hey, we think you'd be perfect for this CBS show, Love Island USA. And I completely read it, thought it was fake and just like didn't answer it because I was like, what are the odds that that would be a real thing? Because I get DMs all the time that just aren't aren't it. And then my friend Tommy was like, oh my God, you totally have to apply. And I was like, Tommy, it's fake. What are you not getting? One plus one equals this is a, this is fraud. So then Tommy actually applied for me. There was a point where I was like, no, it's fake. I don't want to do it. I was like, just having like really bad anxiety. Cause I was like, I can't do this. Like, how am I going to get through it? Like it's fake. And then when it was real, real, my anxiety got even worse because I was like, oh my gosh, what am I doing? Like, what am I getting myself into? Right, I felt the same way. I was scared like going into it because you know, reality TV, you can be portrayed any way you want. However they want to portray you, you can be portrayed as and that's what I was worried about like my character and my reputation I didn't want that to you know go downhill just because of a reality show but right. Tommy signed me up babe oh you're still talking. I'm getting anxiety <laughs> I'm blacking out I don't know how to do this so I was scouted and then Tommy helped me fill out all the paperwork stop looking at me like that <laughs> get to the punchline uh, yeah. <laughs> we're losing viewers I'm done. Don't ask me anything again. <laughs> Long story short, she was scouted. I'm so happy that she made her way on the show because I'm obsessed with her and I never would have met her if she didn't do it. <laughs> Long story short. Didn't Lindsay send you up? Yes. So, you know, the way I sort of fell into Love Island hands was sort of fate, I guess. My sister was a huge fan of the show. I had never watched the show before. And she's huge into like reality TV, Bachelor, all that stuff. And she's always been my best friend, my biggest supporter. Apparently I learned when we came back off the island that when I was talking to all her friends, she had been signing me up for reality TV shows for the last like two years behind my back. And I had no idea. And this was the first call that I really got. I got a call one day from, you know, some people that work at Love Island. I thought it was a fake call. I almost just like hung up. And then I ended up talking and got to a phone call and then it led to a Zoom call and then more Zoom calls, executive producers, everything. I was actually at school all, you know, winter and spring. So I was finishing up my master's. I was finishing up my baseball career. I was sort of focused on that. I was just being myself in all these interviews and not really, you know, getting my hopes up or doing anything, just staying optimistic. Like, oh, this would be cool if I got on. One thing led to another, passed all the tests, all the Zoom calls and officially got the call that they wanted me to fly out to Hawaii. I was freaking out. I was about to go into the regional tournament for baseball. I didn't know if I was gonna be able to fly out and when and all this stuff. It was kind of just firing at all cylinders and it ended up working out. I came a little bit later, but I, I got there right after the College World Series and flew out the next day, quarantined, and then finally got on the show and, and met Shannon. So it was crazy how it all comes full circle. I never would have met Shannon if it wasn't for my sister taking that leap of faith and signing me up because I probably would have never signed up for myself. Here's a fun fact. I just didn't feel like I was going to find somebody on the show that I wasn't going to be able to like find on the shore or have like my summer and you know, kind of stay home with my puppy and my family and stuff. I'm such a homebody, Josh, you know that. So yeah. going on the show was just so out of my comfort zone for me and almost left and I was like, all right, maybe I was being a little dramatic, which I am all of the time. And I'm just really glad that I stuck through it. And I'm just so glad that I waited it out because then I got to meet my Joshy. I know, it's just crazy how it works out. We're both from super small towns. Like nobody would ever picture any of us 
getting into something like this and you know our communities back home are both super strong we, they've been amazing super supportive they're so proud to you know have us represent their their city and their town and it's just been unbelievable we're both just like so completely normal that that's yeah. why we both thought like josh got the phone call i got the dm and i we were like no way we're this like why 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 us like why like, us <laughs> it was such a cool experience guys like i can't even put into words like what goes through your head in those moments your first time on tv you find out you made the show all that stuff it's just unbelievable and it's an experience i think that's why everyone's so close that like leaves the show because we're all have been through it together and not a lot of people can say they have so you kind of like relate to each other and you can realize you oh, only have each other in right. the villa like we're brushing our teeth we're showering eat, like eating breakfast going to bed doing these challenges and it's people from all over the world and all these different big bold personalities that you might not necessarily get along with on the outside, but it's just, you all mesh together as like one big family. I, right. I can't explain it. You know, people that have played sports, athletics, whether it's high school, college, professional, anything can kind of relate. Like when you're on a team, you sort of are in this group with so many yeah. different kids coming from so many different areas and backgrounds. And I'm sort of used to it. And I know you are with cheerleading too. Yeah. And, and I know a lot of people on the show had played sports and they were used to it, but people that aren't, it can definitely be a little intimidating because you're not used to being thrown into a giant group like that having to sort of get along and hang out 24 seven, all coming from different backgrounds. I enjoy stuff like that. I like picking people's brains, yeah. learning, you know, new things about people and just just gaining new friends. So it was a really cool experience. I loved it. Yeah, I loved it too. Seeing you come down those steps like that first time, I always said I was never going to step forward for the first guy that came down because I watched all the other previous seasons and usually you wait till the last guy to come out. And I was like, I'm, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait and see all the guys and then probably go for the last guy. Um, and then Josh came down the steps and I was just like, everything I said just completely went out the window. I was like, that's mine. Thank you. I'll take one of those. And my head did not turn <laughs> for anybody else <laughs> that walked out. I was like, no. And Josh kept like holding. <laughs> oh, I hadn't been around you know, a girl in so long. I couldn't stop looking at Chan first off when I stepped forward. So it was an easy decision for me. And every other girl was saying that. They said, I didn't even, even like Cache and Olivia who didn't step forward. They were like, I saw you just locking eyes in Chan and I knew I didn't stand a chance. So I was like, sorry, like, sorry, not sorry. It was an instant attraction. And as soon as like we, I went over there, I was like this the entire time. And even Ariel was like, you know, you guys don't have to like touch the entire time. I was like, it's okay. It's, it's, it's fine. Don't worry about it. And like, we didn't even know each other. And it was just, that was just based off of physical attraction in the beginning. And then we started actually having chats and I was like, I can't actually like this guy, right? Like I'm on a reality TV show. Like there's no way. Like me and Josh separately before we even went on the show, we're like, no way. Like there's no chance we're actually going to find like somebody genuine and actually have that connection with somebody because it's a reality show. Right. And especially like Love Island USA just watching the previous seasons like there are very great connections but nobody really like is still really together so for us we were like like no shot yeah and i think that especially in the beginning was a big like pushing each other away because there's no shot like i just kept saying there's no way and then when you just stop fighting it it happens and you let it happen <laughs> it happens and it's amazing Right now, we were at Josh's house in Massachusetts, and I have a flight later on today, and I will be going back to Philadelphia, back to Bucks County, and then Josh will be flying in in a few days. He's going to spend Labor Day at the oh, Jersey yeah. Shore. Uh, wish me luck, guys. Where's all my Jersey people at? Cannot wait. I want to show Josh what the Jersey Shore is all about. Dirty Jersey. Dirty, that's the best way to describe it. Dirty, Dirty Jers, are you excited? I'm very excited. I'm a little scared because you saw my beautiful beaches and now I get to see what you've described. Okay, his beach is in New Hampshire and it's like quiet and like the water's clean, clear. The sand is beautiful. And then you go to the Jersey Shore and I'm talking Sea Isle, I'm talking Wildwood, Atlantic City, Ocean City. And it's a little bit crazy. The beach bars are popping, get a little nasty. Are we gonna have the Jersey Turnpike? What is yes. It? You, you do one of these? 
<laughs> yes. Let's do it. I'm excited, guys. Yes. Just pray for me. Please pray for me. You'll be okay. I think I'll be... What was that face? <laughs> I might not. I might change my flight. I don't know. We'll see. Ah! Anyway, guys, thank you so much for checking out our first YouTube channel. Again, we are so new to this, so please bear with us. But we want to just give you guys all the raw behind the scenes footage of how Josh and I actually are. And we want to share our relationship with you guys. So Seriously. We have so much content planned and we want so to much. so much. Like we wrote it all down. We already yeah. like planned it out. It's going to be, it's going to be crazy. It's going to be awesome because we want you guys to see exactly what we do in our daily lives because we're both weirdos and we just <laughs> hang out and have fun. Yeah, I think you guys will learn a lot about us. And, <laughs> <laughs> and we, Man, I'm trying to shoot a video. <laughs> Follow us on Instagram at Shannon Sane and Josh's is at underscore Josh.goldie underscore. Thank you guys so much. If you haven't subscribed already, subscribe up top, hit the link. We are going to put our link trees in the bio of this video where you can find our TikTok, our Twitter, where to donate for the Emmaus house for Lindsay. Oh, Lindsay yeah. Stay in contact with us. We are so excited to get this going. Stay tuned. We love you guys. And thanks for watching. Team Janin.